Hello, I'm Al Holtham. I'm going to show you the Makita range of multi-tools and in particular this, the BTM50 18 volt cordless version. However, there is a 14.4 volt option as well as mains in either 110 or 240 volt. These tools are just so versatile and incredibly useful. You'll see in a minute. They'll answer virtually all your cutting, scraping and sanding requirements, particularly in those awkward to access situations. The tool consists of a motor unit onto which you can fit a wide variety of different blades to cut hard and softwood, plastics, laminates, sheets, wall and floor tiles, carpets and cushion floor, non-ferrous metals and insulation materials. But that's not all. We will sand and scrape as well. What's different about these multi-tools is the blades don't spin. They just oscillate from side to side, which makes them very safe to use and there's little chance of any kickback. The blades attach the tool holder using an Allen key. But look at this. The 12-point mounting system means that the accessories can be positioned every 30 degrees within the full 360 degrees, making it even easier to get into any work position. And the depressed centre of the tooling allows you to work with it flush on the surface. This tool holder uses the OIS standard interface, which means you have access to a huge range of different accessories. To keep the Allen key handy, it stores on board here. An adapter is also provided, and this allows you to fit the accessories from other makes of multi-tool, so you can keep them all when you upgrade to a Makita. The powerful motor is powered by the renowned Makita 18 volt lithium ion battery, and this recharges in just 22 minutes. To protect the battery and maximize its working life, it incorporates a protection system in case of overload or low voltage. An indicator lamp here on the tool starts to blink if the battery level gets too low. Being cordless, it's very easy to maneuver the BTM50, particularly where access is difficult. And this is where these tools really shine, allowing you to get into places that no other tool can reach. The robust body shell with its soft rubber grip makes it a very comfortable tool to hold and use. And it weighs just two kilograms, even with the battery. For even better visibility, a bright front LED light illuminates whenever the tool is in use. And this is ideal for those really confined work areas. The on off switch is easily accessible and the variable speed control gives a range from 6,000 to 20,000 oscillation per minute to suit the material and the application. This oscillation is only 1.6 degrees either side of the central position, but it's enough to provide fast and efficient cutting. Unlike many other multi-tools, the BTM and the TM models can be fitted with a dust extraction attachment to collect any dust or swarf at source, and this is a really useful facility. I want to show you just a few uses for the BTM50, but as it's such a vast range of accessories you can team it with, there's probably no limit to the number of cutting, scraping or sanding applications you can tackle with it. However, as a starter, let's take a look at the cutters you get with this BTM50 kit. This plunge cut blade, the B21369, allows you to make deep cuts in a variety of wood-based materials, such as melamine face boards, chipboard and solid timber. So it's perfect for cutouts in floorboards and decking. And you can also use it for flush cutting, for instance, dowels and tenons. The B21412 is another plunge cutting blade, but this works really well on non-ferrous metals, like thin profiles and pipes, and also for cutting access holes in plasterboard. Another useful blade is the B21325, and this is perfect for cutting door architraves and skirting, as for instance when you want to install laminate flooring. They also cut a variety of man-made panel materials, like the laminate itself, and small non-ferrous metal sections. If you need to cut fiberglass, plastic or epoxy materials, use the B21294 blade. In addition, it will cut sheet metal up to 1mm thick and also deal with another awkward job, that of removing old window putty. There are also two scraper blades in the kit. 
The B21440 is a rigid blade ideal for removing mortar and tile adhesive and for scraping back glued joints. The B21456 is more flexible and this works well for cutting soft expansion joints or even cutting insulation materials and is particularly good for removing mastic beads. There are also some useful blades for work with ceramic tiles. The B21509 allows you to remove narrow grout lines between tiles, for instance when you're replacing a tile. You can also use it for cutting holes in fiberglass and epoxy. The B21515 is more of a rasp and this will remove accumulations of tile adhesive, cement, carpet adhesive and you also use it for shaping wood. The Velcro back sanding pad allows for quick smoothing and removal of stain or paint on wood. The delta shaped head allows you to get into hard to access areas because you can turn it in any orientation. Also, because the head oscillates rather than orbits, it can be used right up against an edge or into a corner without the tool bumping. You can use it for cleaning up rusty metal surfaces as well. So, there are just a few of the vast range of different blades and accessories that offer a cutting solution for virtually any application. This really is one of those tools that once you've used it, you'll wonder how you ever manage without it. The Makita family of multi-tools is available in various options. From complete kits, which can be either mains, 240 or 110 volt. They can be cordless, 14.4 or 18 volt, or even body only, if you want to add one to your existing Makita lithium iron kit. And of course, being Makita, they're top quality tools built for the professional user. I'm Al Holtham. Till next time, bye bye for now.